you don't seem to be particularly interested in. And the BBC seems to refuse to call terrorists, even though the British Parliament has legislated that they are terrorists, which is a question I haven't heard the BBC answer yet. Have you not seen any of the coverage on the BBC of the atrocities, the dead, the injured, the survivors? Yes, I have. So how can you say that we're not interested in, in those atrocities? Well, I, read, I, I read, I think it was a very unfortunate um, uh, article, I think it was by John Simpson, explaining why, although the British Parliament has legislated a map as a prescribed organisation and a terrorist, the BBC think it's not appropriate to call them terrorists. Are you aware of the Ofcom code and the rules for all broadcasters? Of course. Okay, so you'll know that the Ofcom broadcasting code requires that news in whatever form is reported with due accuracy and presented with due impartiality. Broadcasters are not the same as newspapers and indeed all UK broadcasters stick to the same language around terrorism and these groups that the BBC is. We are not unique in this. So I, I think you are suggesting that whatever group is on the UK's list of prescribed groups at any time, that broadcasters should mirror that language. I think it's pretty clear, and um, I said, just been to NATO and seen the, uh, the evidence, seen the videos of uh, innocent people being beheaded, and their pinchers being flagged off and taken uh, as hostages, I think it's pretty clear that's terrorist activity, and I think it's pretty surprising not to hear it being called that. Now, look, it, this is a you know, perhaps a, a subplot to the bigger issue of what's happening in the Middle East, which is why we have provided. Uh, I've sent out uh, two Royal Navy ships uh, to provide that. I hope to deter malign external influence into uh, the area to monitor, deter, prepare, and provide potential humanitarian. Um, aid. Um, but I think when you return this to Britain and you look at, for example, Jewish schools unable to, feeling unable to open today, it would be helpful if the national broadcaster stuck by what Parliament has legislated. And, and, and all broadcasters? Spade spade. Isn't, there, isn't, there a, isn't there a freedom of the press issue here? I don't know whether you're singling out the BBC and singling out Hamas or whether you are calling for a change in the Ofcom broadcasting code. I, I was simply pointing out that I had articles on the BBC explaining why they don't think that they need to uh, uh, refer to an organisation that uh, did this most extraordinary animal-like acts at the weekend as terrorists, which is, is what they are. Okay. Hamas, Hamas provide... had carried out, actually just on Hamas itself, it had carried mm. out atrocities before, and yet your government only placed them on the prescribed list in their entirety two years ago. Parliament has done that, and that is therefore the situation. So Eleven it years after matter, you came to power. It, but, so it shouldn't really be a matter of uh, debate, and it's certainly not for okay, so, um, so, uh, news, so news organisations to change that. Okay, law. so the UK government's language should be mirrored by all UK broadcasters? Well, when Parliament makes a law, that is then a law and the organisation in question of terrorists. I, we're, we're disappearing down a bit of a rabbit hole here, but I simply make the point that, uh, and many other broadcasters have been asking me about the concerns within the British Jewish community, that it would be reassuring, I would have thought, if the BBC called a spade a spade and when terrorists act in this way, uh, that there needs to be an understanding that there isn't an equivalence between going after those terrorists and trying to protect the civilian population by providing warnings, which has been the, the subject of the majority of our interview, and the way that that terrorist organisation themselves act. And I think there's an over-tendency to try to make an equivalence between the two and say, well, on one hand it's this, but on the other hand it's that. But the two are not equivalent in any way, shape or form. And I think